So you might be wondering, what is the hottest topic in tech right now? And I think you'll agree with me that the hottest topic right now is chat GPT. It has received a lot of excitement from both people in the tech industry as well as the general public. So what exactly is chat GPT? It is a conversational AI based on GPT, which is generative pre-trained transformer. And in a nutshell, it is essentially a large language model that is trained by deep learning. And the hype around ChatGPT is to be expected because of its unique superpowers that it could do. So some of the things that people have used ChatGPT for includes text generation, for example, to brainstorm ideas, to write outlines for blogs or articles, to write even Twitter posts, scripts for videos, cover letter for resumes, and so much more. Aside from text generation, it could also be used for language translation. You could use it to help summarize large quantity of text. You could even start some sentences or even paragraphs, and then you could tell it to complete your paragraph or sentences. And probably some of the common tasks that you could ask it to do is to simply, as already mentioned, ask questions, and it'll provide answers. And if you're not satisfied with the answer, you could tell it to refine the answer because ChatGPT could make use of previous prompts. And it's worth to mention that one of the superpower of ChatGPT is that you could provide it with several sequence of prompts and it will consider all of those in order to give you a more refined answer. And you might be wondering, what is a prompt? A prompt is an instruction that you give ChatGPT and it will use that as input in order to process and produce the desirable output. And I briefly mentioned that it could also make use of sequence of prompts, meaning that you could give it sequential prompts and the sequential prompts could help to refine the answer that you receive. And even if it provides you with less than ideal answer that you are expecting for, you could tell it how you want it to be improved. For example, if you are summarizing some text, but then you're seeing that the resulting output could be summarized even more, you could tell it to make it more concise. And aside from content creation, you could also use it to help you code. You could tell it to create some Python scripts to perform certain tasks. You can even tell it to make jokes. And so if all of these sounds like fun, then keep on watching. And so without further ado, we're starting right now. All right, and so the first thing that you want to do is head over to the OpenAI website. So go to openai.com and then you want to click on here in the introducing chat GPT. You want to click on try. And so it will bring you to this particular web page. And I could also provide you with the direct link here and the video description. So essentially you could go to chat.openai.com. And here, if you already have an account, you could log in. However, if you don't and you're new to this, go ahead and click on the sign up button. And here you could continue with your existing Google or Microsoft account. Okay, so it's asking for your name and I'll just leave it as coding professor. I'll hit on continue and then it'll ask for a verification of your phone number. So go ahead and enter your phone number. And then it'll send the code to your phone as an SMS. Go ahead and enter the number. Wait a few moments and we're in. Go ahead and click next, next. It's just telling us what it'll do. Click on done and here we are. We're in the chat GPT interface right now. So let me increase the size of the font here. 
Okay, so in this particular interface to the left hand side here, if whenever you want to start a new chat, you could click on here, new chats. And the, the one at the bottom part of the right hand side here is the chat area. So here, this box, you want to put in your prompt, which is your input. It is essentially what you want to tell chat GPT to do. And you could also make it in dark mode or in light mode as well. Okay, so for here, we're just going to use light mode. And some of the examples that you could do um, are mentioned here. So these are the example prompts. For example, you could tell it to explain about quantum computing in simple terms. You could even ask it for some ideas. Like here, you want ideas, creative ideas for a 10 year old birthday. You could tell it to create code. How do you make an HTTP request in JavaScript? Yeah, and so the capabilities here is that it will remember what you have said and all of the sequence of prompts that you are giving it, it will remember all of that. So here, this is kind of like the search bar in Google. You want to type in what you want it to do. And instead of typing in only the keywords, you want to type in questions or you want to type in the desirable task that you want it to do. Like explain something in simple terms, create an outline for something. So let's go ahead and have a look here. How about this? Explain data science in simple terms. Okay, so I'm gonna mimic this one and then hit on enter and it'll provide you with an answer. And so the answer here is data science is a field that involves using scientific method, processes and systems to extract knowledge and insights from structured and unstructured data reasonably good definition. It involves understanding and working with data using statistical and machine learning techniques to analyze and make sense of large data sets. It's pretty good. Okay, so let's say that you don't like this answer. You could just click here on the regenerate response and it will perform the task again. And so as you can see, you're getting a slightly different answer this time. Okay, and let's say that you're not happy with this and you want to make it into a more concise form, you could tell it to do so. Make this more concise. Enter. And there you go. It's making it more concise. So you can see that it becomes a more concise version with five lines of text. While in the other version, there's approximately 10 or more. How about this one? You want to ask it, make a list of 10 common applications of data science. And it comes up with the list for you. Here are 10 common applications of data science. And so it gives example in marketing and customer analytics, fraud detection. It could be used for detecting, identifying unusual patterns in data, financial analysis, healthcare, supply chain management, manufacturing, energy, transportation, agriculture, environmental science. Okay, so all of these are really good examples of data science. So this is an example of using ChatGPT to explain something. Before we continue further, let's have a look at the left hand side here. So you'll notice here that when we generated our prompt and then we got our answer here on the left hand side here, this is the history. So what we have here will be saved in the history. And it comes up with a title for us called data science definition. And it's essentially what it is right now, data science definition, because we're telling it to explain data science. Okay, and so let's say that we want a new chat, you could click on it. And you could then in the future point in time, go back to the data science definition if you like. Okay, and in this new chat, you're going to ask your new prompt. And let's say I want to use it for content creation, I'm going to create an outline for a blog make an outline for a blog post about about data science. But the thing is, this is rather general, the prompt that we're giving it is too general and more generic. So it's going to give you a, a generic response at the burst eye view or high level look of data science. But if you would like to have a more specific, a more niche output, like for example, you want to know about the use of data science in healthcare, then you could tell it that. So you're going to see here that this is just a general outline of data science. So you have here the outline saying the first topic would be introduction to data science. And it provides you with the subheaders, which is pretty good, right? 
in the intro, you have the definition, you have the importance, and then you have the role of a data scientist. And in section two, you have the data science process, right? And then you have the four elements in there. And then the tools and technology that are used in data science, the skills, technical soft skills, pretty good. Real world application here, and also conclusion future outlook. This is reasonably good. And you can see that it helps create this outline in only a few seconds. And how about we want to get more creative? Let me create a new chat. Create a song about data science for beginners. All right, and we have our song here. And I won't even bother to attempt singing this. So you'll see that it's pretty good. It even comes up with the verses and the chorus. And the song is rather long. Pretty cool, right? How about we create a create a rap song about data science? Okay, analyze, optimize, need beat, it rhymes, right? It's my game, I'm always the same. Love to hack, I won't look back. It rhymes, that's pretty good. Late, create, cool, rules. Cool, I like that. This is for creating a rap song. And so how about this? I will use it for language translation. Let me try doing this. Let me go to the data science definition. I'll copy the first paragraph here. And then I'm going to say translate the following sentence, following paragraph to, and then a language. Let me try Thai. Oops, I forgot to. Let me see if it will be able to translate it to Thai. So in Thai, it is Wittiyasat, Kamun, Ben Saka, Tichai Technique, Satiti, Lat Kamnon, Pua, Sakat Kwam Lu, Lat Kwam Samkan, Ja Kamun. This is reasonably good. So if I were to translate this from Thai back to English, it would say data science is a field that uses the technique of statistics and computation in order to extract knowledge and insights from data. It includes factors from computer science, st statistics. Okay, so the translation is reasonably good. How about now translate it to Spanish? Okay, how about this? Translate it to Hindi. Okay, so let me know if the translation is correct. It's very impressive that it's able to translate all of this. And we'll probably have to do some comparisons, right? Whether the translation from ChatGPT, is it better than the one from Google Translate? Or other comparable software? What else? What other languages? How about translate it to Japanese? So it's taking longer than expected. Okay, and it's working. So let me know in the comment section how the translation is. Is it accurate or is it gibberish? And I'm sure you'll have a lot of great ideas, creative ideas, and how you could use ChatGPT. And I'd love to hear from all of you. So drop in the comment section down below how you are using ChatGPT. And also, please support the channel by smashing the like button, subscribing if you haven't already, and also turn on notifications. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to find a quiet place where you could focus. And please enjoy the journey.